please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. This is the case of Cedeno versus Ramirez. Thank you, Jerome. You're welcome. Good day, everyone. Mr. Cedeno, you are seeking the results of a paternity test for Ms. Ramirez's one and a half month old daughter, Aislinn. You claim you two broke up and now you have no feelings for Ms. Ramirez whatsoever. You say she's claiming you are her baby's father in a fraudulent attempt to try to get you to come back to her. Yes, Your Honor, yes. Now, Ms. Ramirez, you say, despite that accusation and claim that Mr. Cedeno got another woman pregnant one month before you conceived your baby. Yes, Your Honor. Now, to protect that relationship, you argue he's trying to cover his tracks by pretending he did not father your child as well. So, Ms. Ramirez, let's cut to the quick. Are you trying to trap your ex no, with this baby? No, I am baby? not trying to trap him with this baby. I'm actually, I'm very shocked. I'm very hurt that he would even deny her. He's my first love. He's my first boyfriend, my first everything. And I'm tired of him sending me mixed signals. He comes to my house, and, you know, he tells me he doesn't love me, he doesn't want to be with me, but yet he's always trying to hug up on me, he tries to sleep with me. And I've even tried to prove it, I've proved it multiple times to his girlfriend, you know? There was even this one time where, you know, I had to let her know, you know, that I'm gonna sleep with Michael, and she asked Wait, wait, wait now, wait. <laughs> you talked to his girlfriend? Yes. I told and her... And you told her? Yes, I told her that I you was You just gonna... called her on the phone. Oh, I, well, I texted her first, and I told her that I was going to sleep... <laughs> I told her that I was going to sleep with him, and she told me to prove it, so when we were having sex, I called her on the phone so that she could hear. <laughs> what? Yeah. Wait a minute. You got on the phone with his girlfriend. Yes. I got to get this. <laughs> you said... I'm going to have sex with my ex, which is your current boyfriend. Yeah, because I she would... She said, prove it. So the way you decided to prove it was... By calling her to let her... for that she can hear it for herself. Wow. <laughs> okay, so, Mr. Cedeno, you're not over there denying it. It did happen. I mean, I'm not going to deny it. And I was with my girlfriend when it did, and I have my... pretty much my list of doubts of why I pretty much think the Aislinn's not mine. How so, despite the fact that you're admitting that you do still sleep with Ms. Ramirez, even though you're in another relationship? Yes, it happened. I slipped up one night. Just that one, one night? One night, no, all the time. Well, it was daytime, the time. but yes. Just that one day? No, one day. it's been consistent. Only one day. These last few years, we've been sleeping together. It's not just that one night. It's. All well, the she's time. got like five to four of the guys that she sleeps with daily, so I mean. I don't sleep with any. I don't have so, time. So, Mr. Cedeno, are you submitting to this court that you've only slept with Ms. Ramirez one time since you've been in the relationship no, with your we, current no, girlfriend? This is no, I've... I have. I keep track of my monthly cycles. I know when we slept together. I'm asking you. No. We slept together just a Not few weeks ago. Not since I've been back from Atlanta. <laughs> no. Really? <laughs> Yes. Okay, so you two were broken up. Yes. You moved on, you had a new girlfriend. Yep. Multiple. I got her pregnant. Multiple. But you ended up at Ms. Ramirez's house. Yeah, I have two kids with her. So you have two kids with her? Yes. Three. <laughs> you went to visit your children and end up visiting your ex girlfriend. Yeah, and I had pretty much fallen victim that day. You, oh, you, you felt victim? How are you falling a victim when you're the one that initiates fell it? Fell victim. He's the one that initiates it. You admit to having sex with her, yes. but you claim the child in question, Aislinn, is not yours. No, the time and dates don't add up. There's no The time and dates way. add up because he was staying with me when I got Plus pregnant. sleeping with the enemy, so I wasn't no sleeping way. with no one around the time I got pregnant. I slept with someone about seven months before I got pregnant with Aislinn, and then I didn't start speaking to him again until I was four months pregnant. So I was already pregnant with Aislinn when I started talking to that guy again. So how is he the father? So now, Mr. Cedeno, you stated to the court that you got a list of doubts. Oh, uh, yeah, I got a list. I'd like to see that list. Yeah. Jerome, can you hand me that list of doubts? <laughs> okay. One of your doubts is that you weren't in a relationship at the time, and she was sleeping with two or three other guys at the same time. Yes. Now, you heard that or you know that for a fact? 
I know that for a fact. He, he told it. me and she had told he me. He heard it. He heard it. You're talking about who told you? Uh, this would be a person that lives near me that I pretty much don't like. And I she, only slept with him She to interviews get back with him, him to make me jealous. I did it, which yes, I for revenge. Which I care less. So she admitted that she slept with him, but did you sleep with him during the time of conception? No, I slept with him seven months prior, and I was, and then the next time I slept with him, I was already four months pregnant. So he can't be the father. I think she got pregnant too fast. There's no physical way. And you, she has an obligation. It takes one time to get pregnant. One time. So wait, wait, one wait. Time. Your second doubt is that you feel like it happened too fast. Yeah, there's no. How? What do you mean? I don't know if it takes that long. Like. Like, there was a year between difference of between my, my son and my daughter, and then she had this third kid, which I wasn't even around her that much long of a time to even for me to be the father. And if I was, why wouldn't she put me on the... So you're saying that when you were with her, when you all were in a relationship, it took a year to conceive your first child. Yes. And then your second child, it took it six months. Six months. So you're saying this this just came up too fast. It only she takes sent my friend this text saying that I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you get me pregnant. Three minutes later, she's pregnant. So <laughs> you heard through the grapevine, through a friend, that she was setting you up. Yeah, he showed me the text. And what did this say? Pretty much, I'm going to get Michael to have another kid with me. Well, I just had a kid with my girlfriend a month prior to her baby that she mean just pregnant. had. So you got a baby right now yep. by your current girlfriend. Yes. And this baby is one month older. Yes. The baby in question here today only one month older than mm -hmm. the baby you have with your girlfriend. Yes. <sighs> so pretty much as I'm happy with her in my relationship now, she's been trying to just pretty much throw some salt in it. Like, boom, boom. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. I want to figure out why is it that when you go over there to see your kids, you end up sleeping with her? It's, it's there, it's easy. <laughs> So just because it's easy. Yeah, it's pretty much not good. Let me give you some advice about how you stay out of paternity court. <laughs> yes. When you go visit your children, if you're not able to resist your ex-girlfriend, then take your children somewhere outside of the house. Go to the park. Go to the mall. Go to the movies. You're right, and I do that, but then it's always like a catch at the end. Okay, how I take the kids, but can you... Do this for me. No, like, that's it's not never why I'm like there. that. I let him take the kids. He'll say he's gonna take the kids for a few days. He calls me hours later talking about I need to drop them off. I need to go do something. He doesn't like to keep them. So I am more comfortable with him watching them at my house. And what's the point of taking them if you wanna return them? I'll he'll say, okay, I'm well, gonna take them for a few days. We're asking questions, I have one for you. If he's not that responsible for the two that you already have with him and you don't trust them with him, why in the world? Are you trying to have another baby? With I'm, not him gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Part of me wanted to have another baby, and another part of me did it out of jealousy, out of spite because of the other she girl. Wants to trap me. Because of the other girl <laughs> having the baby. So I think in my subconscious mind, I decided to get pregnant because she was pregnant. Was it your subconscious mind? Well, or was it your super conscious mind? <laughs> Maybe Let's my, be honest, Miss Ramirez. Okay, maybe my super conscious mind. I did it to get back at her, which is, I feel bad for it. Just, I love my daughter, and I got pregnant for the wrong reasons, but that's why I did it. So is that why you so had an ovulation you calendar? you admitted to the court that you I keep have an ovulation, ovulation calendar, calendar because I keep track of my monthly cycle. And then so that you can have me come over no, when you're ready. No, I keep track of my monthly cycle oh, for that I know so when I'm getting, good. you know, when I'm getting ready, you know. <laughs> you say you're keeping an ovulation calendar. I keep it for my monthly cycles. It just so happens to also let me know the days that I'm fertile. Just so happens. Yes. I have it here. This tracks the days that you are fertile on your ovulation calendar. Yes. And those hearts are the days that I slept with Michael. And those are all on fertile days. Yes. Just happen to be. Yes. Sounds like and, a trap. Yes. <laughs> Aislinn was born in July. Yeah. Track it back nine months. Those could potentially be the dates of conception. Yes. And On purpose. You also claim another man actually told you he slept with her. Oh, yeah, he told me. Who was he, this person? I didn't uh, sleep with anyone else. It's just a person around where I live. Like, he don't like me. So you don't think he would lie? Just Why? to... 
He's been over there. I've, I've seen him go over there. I've seen the text You've of him You've never seen him go over there. You've seen texts between this guy yes, and I Ms. Have. Ramirez. Yeah. Idiot shows me it like, look, this is what I've been doing. Okay, why are you showing me this? I don't okay, care. well, there's an obvious reason why we're both doing it, but that doesn't mean that I got pregnant by him. Well, I mean, so you I'm not on the birth Ms. certificate. Ramirez. I'm not on none of that. She has yeah. your dimple. She has your skin complexion. She doesn't have my skin complexion. So that's on your list of doubts as well, yes. Mr. Cedeno. The looks of Aislinn. Aislinn doesn't look like you. Nah, I don't think. So when you found out you were pregnant, you immediately thought it was Mr. Cedeno's? Yeah, or he you was there. to yourself, let me get my calendar out? Well, I knew I was pregnant because I never missed my monthly cycle. So I knew that just being a day late, I already knew I was pregnant. Then so why am I not on the birth certificate? You didn't why was I not there the, for the birth? You didn't want to be on the birth certificate. You didn't want to be at the birth. When you came to bring the kids to, to see the baby, you wouldn't so even So wait a minute. Her. What's his relationship been like with Aislinn since she's he been born? He doesn't really pay much attention to her. Um, he won't hold her. If he does hold her, he makes up an excuse as to why he has to put her down. He has to go to the bathroom. He has to make a phone call. Just last week, he referred to her as that thing is crying. Mr. Cedeno, to a beautiful little baby? That thing? Yeah, but that's also a burden on my life. Like, I have two that I already have enough trouble providing for and caring for. And you want to bring well, a Well, then you shouldn't have some burden me. on your life. Yeah. The burden on your life is the fact that you can't keep your pants up when you're supposedly <laughs> supposed to go visit your children. That's a burden on your life. It's lack of self-control. You're right, This but baby is how innocent. Is... Yeah, true. So yeah. whether or not she is, in fact, your child. Mm -hmm. She deserves better than to be called a thing. You're right, you're right. That's very hurtful. My kids ask why he won't hold her. I don't know what to tell them. And it hurts me that he does that. I grew up in foster care. I grew up without my mom. My mom denies me. She pays more attention to my brother. And I don't want her to go through that. I don't want her to see him paying attention to the other kids. and. She's not getting love from her dad. That's hurtful. That does, that messes people up. And I don't want her to ever go through that. And I don't think it's fair. She doesn't deserve it. No, she doesn't. Do you want Mr. Cedeno back? A part of me does, but if he acts the way that he does, no. I mean, I want him to be there for our kids. Yeah, for the kids, not you. Pretty okay, much. but it doesn't matter. You should still be willing to help me out. Anytime I want him to babysit, he wants me to pay him. Why should I have to pay you pay to, to pay him to watch his to own watch kids? The two children you know for certain are his, yes. Mr. Cedeno. <laughs> it is nothing that bothers me more to hear in this courtroom is that a parent of a child calls themselves babysitting their own kid. You don't babysit your own kid. And therefore, you're not entitled to payment. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Now I'm trying to figure out why in the world is she trying to purposefully have a third child with a man that she got to pay to babysit for the two that you already have. This whole story, it doesn't make sense to me. When people begin to manipulate and sneak, you want to control him. I just want my family together. You want your family together. I think that our, our kids deserve to have both parents. Now we're getting to the truth. There is nothing wrong with a mother's wish that her family be together, that she be together with the father of her children. But what is problematic is when you go about scheming and plotting and then admitting to do so, running the other girlfriend crazy, calling on the phone while you're having sex. This is... I don't like her. This, well, She's that's manipulative fine. also. You cannot like her, but, but you don't have to do all of that. My point is this. When a person begins to plot on you, you wonder in your mind what else are they capable of. Probably now, anything and everything. Mr. Cedeno, whether you are or are not the father, let's be clear that you need to get your act together as well. Because none of this would have been possible if you had A, respected your current relationship enough not to cheat, B, respected your children in your ex's home enough 
not to work them up that every time you come over, daddy might stay with mommy because now they're together. Oh, now they're not. And C, respected the mother of your child enough to set boundaries. If you don't want her back, stop sleeping with her. It's time for the results. I, I, I'm, I'm ready to figure this out. Jerome, do you have the envelope? I do. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and are as follows. In the case of Cedeno versus Ramirez, when it comes to one and a half month old Aislinn, Mr. Cedeno, you... Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Cedeno versus Ramirez, when it comes to one and a half month old Aislinn, Mr. Cedeno, you are her father. I told you, she is your baby. Now you can't deny her. She's your kid. You look surprised. A little bit. I'm not surprised. Yeah, you knew what you were doing. Yeah, you exactly, be okay. That's how I know you were the father. I had no doubt in my mind. Now, Ms. Ramirez, as I sit here today and I've listened to the testimony, trust me, there's no doubt in my mind that you planned, plotted, and produced literally and figuratively this situation. But Mr. Cedeno, you better believe you played your part. Yep, you sure did. To the fullest. Now, Ms. Ramirez, you have three children by Mr. Cedeno. If he don't want you, let him go. You cannot use a child as a pawn to keep a man. The only person you hurt in this situation is the child. Yeah. So now, what will we do going forward? Hopefully, he can is able to co-parent with me. No, we're not going to hopefully co-parent. We're going to co-parent. Mm -hmm. As it relates to Aislinn, you need to get on this bandwagon and join it fast, Mr. Cedeno. You got some making up to do. OK. Court is adjourned. I learned from Judge Lake today that it's important to take care of my children and to co-parent them together because our kids can't pick their parents. Closed captioning provided by...